I'm Jared Toth, and today we are going to be making another tool. We will be making a hollowing tool out of an Allen wrench. Um, I've seen other people do it, and I met another wood turner, and I uh, looked at his that he made, and I thought, what a great idea. So I want one, and I don't want to spend the money on a uh, expensive hollowing tool, um, you know, from a store. So I thought, hey, why not try it? Um, the guy that I spoke to says it works great. People online seem to uh, really like it. So today we'll be doing that. So I have it mounted in my vise and I would like to point out, I got an Allen wrench, I got a thicker one and I got one with a longer stem here and that was on purpose so I could go a little bit deeper into my handle to make it more sturdy. So, I mean, you could use any, any Allen wrench you want, but if you got one that's shorter, you're risking it snapping off and breaking. This way, it's a lot sturdier and, uh, you know, hopefully won't break inside the handle. So, um, we're going to have to use the tools that I have here. And I have an angle grinder that I'm going to start with. And all I'm going to do is kind of smooth out this section right here. Just take a little bit off the top and then maybe just kind of curve this a little bit. Um, so we'll do that right now. Okay, that looks like a pretty good start. And I would like to point out that using a bench grinder would probably be a lot easier than the way I'm doing it. Um, but I don't own a bench grinder, so we are trying to use the tools that I have to do this. So next I have a sander. We will try to put it on the sander and round out this bottom edge here. Okay, so I'd like to point out, remember this is extremely hot after doing that, so I ran it under cold water for about a minute just to cool it down so I can handle it. Now we're going to try to do it this way. I have this pitched as the same as my scraper. So I'm going to try to put the same edge on this using my sander. So let's give this a shot to see if it will work. I didn't think about the bottom. The bottom has a point, and so it would probably be good of me to just flatten it out. Now we're at my uh, Tormic sharpener. Um, I have the T7, and I already have it adjusted the same as my scraper. And if you are in the market for a sharpener, once again, I'm not being endorsed. This thing's amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, the longer I have it, the more I love it. Uh, it makes all my chisels razor sharp, does it in seconds. It's really easy to use. Um, uh, there's other cheaper models out there, but I've read really, uh, you know, not so great reviews. This thing came with a 10 year warranty. It's amazing. 
Okay, enough plugging the Tormek machine, but it's it's great. So I'm gonna get a razor sharp finish on this. I readjusted it so the wheel is spinning towards me rather than away, just to make it easier for me. So here we are, I just got a, uh, a scrap piece of wood, it's uh, a rectangle here, and I have it between centers, and all I'm going to do is round it out really fast, nothing fancy, just round it out, and then I'm going to put it on the chuck and uh, drill out the hole so uh, we could attach the actual, um, the actual chisel that we made to it. So I'm just going to do it really fast, I'm uh, going to use my, my bowl gouge to kind of rough it out. Maybe my roughing gouge. We'll see what I feel like doing. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is a nice right rough cut. So far, now I'm going to put it on my chuck and just drill out a center to this really fast. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we can continue on shaping the rest of this. Here we are, we're back between centers after drilling the hole. And now I'm just going to do a real quick shaping of it. Nothing fancy, just, you know, something I could hold on to. there we have it real nice handle I'll just sand this really fast on my uh, drum sander and then uh, then we'll mount it up uh, we'll mount the bit that we created up on it so here we are I like the handle it fits really nice in my hand and it should fit snug in there I left this a little bit thicker I don't have the, the metal rings the brass rings that you put around uh, chisels um, I said it on one of my other videos. I don't I'm not even sure where you uh, get those. I looked online I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I can't find them anywhere, but um, I left it a little bit thicker on the outside here and now all we have to do is hammer it in Got 
this in there. I think that looks good. Now, a couple things I want to point out that on um, my Tormic sharpener, it has grooves and ridges on it, so it makes it hard to sharpen. So I went really far up on the bottom side of this when I was grinding it down. So this is all smooth and flat, so I could easily turn it on there. If if you see the top part here, if you leave that too much on the bottom you're gonna have a difficult time sharpening it it keeps on wanting to roll and move on you and everything else so I did that but I kept it on the top just to give it a little bit more strength another thing that I'm gonna point out is I left mine a little bit longer this is probably like a inch and a quarter or so um, if I'm getting catches when I'm hollowing out a bowl I may grind this down I, I've seen people grind it a little bit uh, smaller, but I'm trying to get this to last as long as I can. So we'll see if it works. There's a chance that it, it may catch on me. I don't think I'm gonna have too much problem, but if I do, that, that will be the solution. If you make it at home, just just trim off a little bit more. Maybe take off like a half an inch and then, and then reshape it and then go from there. But all in all, this is looking pretty good. I may throw a couple coats of uh, maybe polyurethane or something on there just to protect it, but I'm not really too worried about it. Um, you know, this isn't a tool that I use all the time and it was very inexpensive to make, so. So here we are, the project is complete. We have a nice little hollowing tool and I polyurethaned it and polished it up. So um, I'm kind of excited to uh, use it uh, in future projects. So look forward to those videos coming up where uh, we'll actually put this thing to work and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, check out my website, woodturnersjournal.com. And once again, thank you again for all the support.